Hello early years. So today is our part part whole day. And what number are we going to be doing? That's right, number eight. So I thought today we'll just have a quick chat about um, how to do part part whole. But because we kind of all know what we're doing really, don't we? And we've had lots of practice. I'll then show you um, some of the things that people have been up to at home in case you fancy doing it in a different way. Okay, so let's have a look first of all at how to do part part whole for the number eight. Okay, so here we are. I've got my eight in my hole and I'm gonna move them to the parts to see how we can make eight. And remember how we're trying to think about doing it in an order so we can make sure that we get all the different ways. Okay, so what do you think I should start with for my first part? Lovely, I'm gonna start with one. Okay, so I move that into there and then I'm gonna put the other ones into the other part. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop the numbers there as well, just so we know. So we've got one there and seven there. So what does it tell us? One part is one, one part is seven, and the whole is eight. Okay, or one and seven makes eight. Lovely. Okay, so if we pop these back, what would you do next? What would your next starting part be? Lovely, I can hear lots of people saying two, wonderful. So we've got those eight again in the hole and we're gonna move them into the parts. Okay, one, two in there and then we count the rest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got two, and we've got six. And what does that tell us? Yep, one part is two, one part is six, and the whole is eight, or two and six makes eight. Okay, and it's really important that we move those bits from the whole into the parts, because if we leave eight counters in the hole and then we use another eight to make our parts we're actually ending up with a lot more than eight counters okay right so let's come out of that now and talk about how we can record because it's really important that we record so that we can start noticing patterns okay so you might want to draw uh, your whole and then your parts. You might want to do the numbers, but in the part, part, whole picture, or you might just want to write the numbers. It's entirely up to you, but it's really good if you start recording because then we start noticing patterns. And grown ups, if your children notice anything and they tell you, can you either write it on tapestry? or write it down on a piece of paper and take a photo of it and send it on tapestry because it really helps us as teachers to see how much your child is understanding and what they say really shows their understanding of what they're doing. Okay, so let's have a look now at the ways that you've been doing part, part, whole at home. And you might wanna pick one of these ways to do yourselves. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this person is at school and they you can see they've been using the plates that we've talked about. 
and they're using cubes and you can see that they've moved their hole, they started with their hole and they've moved the counters or the cubes to into their parts to share them out. Okay, so that's one way. This person's been outside, which is great. We love being outside. And they have written the hole at the top, in, which is great. So we know now this was last week, so it's number seven, but this week it would be number eight. And then they've moved those stones into the parts. Super duper. And then we've got this person's drawn the part part hole on a piece of paper and then they've used cubes to work it out which is great now this is quite a tricky one but i quite like this idea and if you're feeling really confident with part part hole you might want to try this um, so this person has used stickers. Now, the tricky thing about stickers is once you've stuck them down, you can't move them. So you've got to be really careful with your counting. And this could be a way, actually, that you could record what you've done. So if you want to work it out with objects first and then record with stickers, you could do that. Or you can just go straight ahead and use the stickers as long as you know that you've only got eight all together okay and then this person's used farm animals and they've got some number cards as well to show the parts and the whole which is fantastic and then this person's used golf balls and they've got their hole up here in lovely straw seven okay and then they've used their golf balls to do the parts which is fantastic but remember this week it's the number eight Okay, so there are just a few ideas of what you might like to do. And don't forget to record your aunt, what you find out and anything you say about it, anything you notice, we'd really like to know. Okay, I can't wait to see how many different ways you find to make eight.